YouTube? How are you now? Sean back here from the EDC Den. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are taking a look at colorful knives in my collection and just overall a little discussion on adding some color to your knife collection. When I started knife collecting, it was very common to have knives with metal handles, just stainless steel. Um, titanium eventually became very popular. You see a lot of black in the materials of G10, FRN, nylon, stuff like that. So there's a whole lot of black knives out there. There's a lot of silver kind of uh, metallic steel looking knives, um, which of course look gray, I guess, in color, gray, silver. So after a little while, that starts to get a bit old. And um, what I found in my collection, I I'm finding the need to add some color every once in a while. For myself, I've been collecting knives for 15 years or so, and these are just some of the knives that I've picked up to add some color to the collection. We're not going to look at them all. There's just a few too many here to go through one by one. But let's take a look at some of these knives that stood out with some really nice colors. Here we've got a Swiss Army knife. So you've got the blue with the orange with the white compass. Really cool knife. This is a big one, guys. Check that out. Five layers. We've got a Marlin Spike here that has three springs dedicated to just the Marlin Spike. So that actually locks into place with a liner lock. And like I said, three springs engaged just for this one tool. Extremely solid side to side. It's not going anywhere. Really cool tool. We're going to take a look at this knife more in depth in another video. I've got a series coming out on multi-tools and these kind of larger Swiss Army knives. These are the 111 millimeter Swiss Army knives. But yeah, nice color blue on this one. It comes with this lanyard. Uh, that's I might switch this out eventually for a red lanyard just to match the shield. Here's a Robert Class large stockman. We'll just go through this one quickly. It's uh, you know just your three-bladed stockman, of course with the classic yellow Delrin handles, or covers I should call them. So I don't have a lot of yellow in my collection. This might be my only yellow knife. This is certainly one of my favorites as far as colorful knives in the collection. This is a Laguiole en Aubrac. Sorry for the bad French pronunciation there. La Gueule en Aubrac. Very nice knife here with the coral handles. You see all kinds of nice tones in there. Orange, yellow, pink. Kind of a, a peachy color coral. Really well put together. Nice knife. I was able to pick this up uh, in France. I handpicked that one in France. I've, I've only been to Europe the one time, and that is the knife I came home with. Case Knives did a really fantastic job with these two Case Copper Locks that I have here. I'll show these both to you. This one, they call it Burnt Indigo. Really nice bone covers on this one. Check out those nice colors. As described, an kind of an indigo blue color that, that is toasted and, and burnt there with the browns. Great job on those covers by Case. And the same knife over here in the pocket worn harvest orange. This has that, is that the peach seed kind of jigging? But again, a great job dyeing these bone covers. Nice rich orange colors in there, fading into some lighter colors and some whites towards the bolsters. Great little lockback knife. Warncliffe blade with the long nail pull. And one of my absolute favorite Victorinox knives. This um, is the same size as a Pioneer, same dimensions and everything. Two springs at the back. This is not a Pioneer though, this is a 
rancher and the only difference is instead of a can opener you get this pruning blade which I do prefer to the can opener I don't open cans too much if I absolutely had to I probably could with this very easily but I would rather have this little pruning blade compared to the can opener that you get with these this is in Apocalypse Green and this is made by Swiss Bianco they do special lines of these ALOX Swiss Army knives and just while we have this out with the little pruning blade here Swiss Bianco also releases a, a knife called the Harvester which is basically this knife with a saw and that knife will be more widely available in the silver ALOX scales and it will be called the Victorinox number no. 7 I believe so it's this knife here that you see along with a saw and we've got the awl at the back here these are some nice bone covers done by GEC the Tidiute trim some nice orange here kind of fades into the into the mustardy yellow colors do you like these covers quite a bit here we've got the Spyderco paramilitary 2 that is blue G10 the Almar Eagle HD in orange G10 this is a case trapper that's a Spyderco leaf storm in the Jade G10 titanium on that side great little knife no longer in production here we've got the Spyderco ladybug in purple FRN this is a class copperhead with the red dimpled bone and this is a GEC that's a number 38 special in red bone how about my fellow collectors out there? Are you big on adding colors to your collection? Or do you prefer to keep it more neutral with the black handles, the titaniums, the stainless steels? Or do you like to inject a little bit of color into your collection from time to time? Okay, everyone, I think that'll do it for today. Please let me know in the comments what you think about these colorful knives. I hope everyone is doing well out there. We will see you real soon in the next video. Take care, everybody.